Hi, this is Vladan from SX Virtualization Block. Today I'm going to show you the quick deployment of uh, Photon OS. It's very easy to do it in VMware Raysphere. You can do actually deployment of the OVF file or you can create a VM by yourself. The OVF file is very simple. So in this guide you will see the OS installation, so we choose the Linux template, Linux 3.x 64-bit. We assign two vCPUs, and it's recommended by VMware. We give some memory, choose our network where we gonna run this VM. Keep the default, create 20 gig disk drive, virtual disk drive, keep the defaults and uh, connect the, the ISO you have previously downloaded and don't forget to check the box uh, connect at power on there you go, finish Okay, and we can open the console and start the deployment process. In my lab it finished after 14 seconds. So booting the ISO, and you accept the license agreement. Arrays partition the disk. Uh, I have only the minimal ISO, so the only option is minimal. Choose a host name, root password, confirm, and go. Installation is very fast. In my lab it took 14 seconds, as I already said. And here we go. So now we can log in. And you are there. There's a few commands to pass in order to start the docker and to, to configure that the docker starts next boot as well. That's it, those two lines. Now we're gonna deploy the web server as I saw on one of the examples on the VMware site. What's happened is that the packages gonna get downloaded. They are already prepackaged. It's gonna get downloaded to the to the VM and uh, that's about it. I'm gonna accelerate the video a little bit because the download is taking some time but if you are on a faster internet it's gonna take just a few minutes in my case it takes a bit longer but still here you go and uh, that's about it uh, what we need to do next is uh, actually to get some IP information so in our case is 10.10.760 so we can open a web browser which was as you could see deployed on uh, on the port 80 and that's about it thank you for watching bye bye